guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here i'm Liliana, and first of all i'd like to wish you all a happy new year and i hope you guys had an amazing holiday and i wish you all a beautiful 2022 with good health so in today's video super exciting because it's the first video of the year it's going to be a beautiful a buttercream cake with texture effect so if you guys want to see how i made this well keep on watching So basically I did my chrome coat, I did my second coat, and then I chose a buttercream, but you can use Swiss meringue also, you can use ganache, whatever you want. I went ahead and used buttercream and the recipe is in my description box down below. And then for the color, I used this by Scrap Cooking. It's actually powder, okay? um you see me using a lot of gel food coloring but i actually like to use powder a lot this is a, a company from france this is not a sponsor whatsoever i just like their product a lot and what i like about this is that you could just use a little bit a little bit goes a long way i've had this for quite a time now and yeah you just need a little bit i would highly suggest you starting with a little bit and then a little bit like the gel food coloring you just start with a little bit and then you add some more as you go if you want it to be darker same thing for the powder but a little bit less than the gel because this tends like super good there's a lot of other companies out there but this is basically the one that i use but i love working with 
powder. And by the way, you can also use this for meringues and macarons. It works wonders. So that's what I did. So for the colors of my cake, I use this and then I always do my darker color first so I know the shade that I want and then I use a tiny little bit of that color and then I mix it with um, white buttercream and then I get my lighter shade and that's what I did so once you have your colors make sure that your cake is uh, froze not frozen but chilled at least 10 minutes and then you can go ahead and then at this stage, there's not a right way or a wrong way, by the way. Um, the cake that I did, if you recreate it, it's probably not going to be the same cake, uh, same look, and it's okay. It's going to be as beautiful. So basically what you need to do is just place some colors wherever you want. I always start with my darker shade and then scrape it off because I'd like that smooth uh, smooth finish for that cake, but you can actually leave it with a texture also. It would look nice also. So I started the dark color to be smooth and then I created texture by adding my kind of like lavender color and then my I went ahead and also added white uh, buttercream and then it kind of gave an, like another shade to it also. So I did that, whatever, um, wherever I want it to, to be in my cake, place in my cake and go ahead all the way around or just in the front or, or just spots. And then for the sugar pearls, what I did is that I just wet my finger with uh, a little bit of water and then just place it on the, um, the sugar pearls and then place it on my cake like that so i knew exactly where it's going to be and then finish the look with some uh, flowers and blueberries and french macaroons so for the flowers i always say in my videos make sure that they're not poisonous they're not toxic and make sure to protect your cake so use flour um tape a floral tape you can also use um you can also use straws and then place your flower inside the straw you can also use toothpicks i like to use toothpicks too you just place the toothpick at the bottom of the stem of the flower and then glue together with floral tape your stem and the toothpick and then you just go ahead and place it and then that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed the first video of the year and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.